new Arsenal signing Kai Havertz became the first player in history to not score a single goal in the MLS All-Star Cross and Volley Challenge. <laughs> AFTV's Robbie Lyle joined Adi Oladipo and Roy Jennings on the Transfer Insider Show earlier this week and said he was surprised with the Havertz signing. I was a bit surprised with the Havertz signing at first, but I've got to trust the manager on this because I remember when he signed Aaron Ramsdale, I was a little bit surprised by that, but look how good he's turned out to be. I'm still not sure where Havertz is going to play because I get the feeling that Declan Rice will more play in the sort of Xhaka role. Uh, firstly, this thing, I don't know if people have seen it or not, this um, all MLS All-Star Cross and Volley Challenge. Mm-hmm. This is um, this is a bit of fun they have over in the MLS, yeah. where um, f- in this situation they took uh, Kai Havertz, he, they took it in turns, the players, but this was Kai Havertz. The ball, he's just around the penalty spot. The ball mm-hmm. comes in from the left-hand <clears throat> side, yes. of just outside the penalty area. They sling it over and he has to either chest it or control it yep. and then volley it into the net. He had a few shots on target. Early reports where he didn't have one shot. He did. <laughs> but he did not score a single goal. I, things like this do not matter. No, right? they, they make no difference whatsoever. The only problem, the only time they matter is when all of a sudden someone goes, he didn't score a single goal. It's the first. And then if he hears about it or his teammates read about it because it's all over social, mm. it then becomes a thing. It does. Right? Absolutely, absolutely right. Are you... Um, are you is there a part of you that's slightly a little bit worried or apprehensive as to Kai Havertz, where he plays, how he'll play? Because he, he's one of those players, I think, that he needs to hit the ground running. So there's there's so many things about Kai that, that I don't have the answers to because I never saw it. Yet everyone told me the words Kevin Atchard, in fact, you know, loves him. There is a player in there. I've said this. There is a player in there. I just haven't seen it yet. I haven't seen enough of it. This pre-season thing... It's it's a bit of a joke, really. It's it's a it's a skill session that, when you look at it though, his first touch needs to be better. But it's, yeah, that's it's, true. You're back in preseason. That'll come. Timing comes. I wouldn't look at this in, in any way and think, oh my god. The only thing that Arsenal fans need to look at is his performances for Chelsea, because they were, they weren't good enough. So you're you, after it, you're going to Chelsea TV yeah. and you've got Wrexham. Got Wrexham. Where one, is that game? By o'clock, way? Almost in the states. Oh, right, okay. kick off. So you that. expect him? I mean, pre-season, I don't pre-season, think means anything. Well, they, <laughs> he'll, he'll play some part, and it's probably forty-five minutes. Who? Havertz. He's not at Chelsea anymore. So I'm going mad. <laughs> so when is when is their next game? Then? I don't know. I don't know when the next. Sorry, game I'm going is, crazy. But, yeah, but, but they, when, they, my point is <clears> that yeah. he's only going to play forty-five minutes, probably maximum in his next game pre-season is all about fitness the first and most important thing is you've got to get yourself fit right and then you want partnership especially if you're like Chelsea are going to have new players coming in partnerships over the pitch the, the shape of the team the, play, the manager wants to, to, to um, adopt and getting it right Arteta's been there what, this is his third or fourth year now right mm. so, so he already have a plan most of the players will know what's required of them right Kai's going to come in and there's a different role have to get used to him that's what this preseason's about. But I, did, you, did you ever you, see your time at Chelsea? Did you ever see Havertz playing the role that you expected him to play at Arsenal? Did you? Did he have? You know, an, I don't an, know what he's going to do at Arsenal. Here's the thing with Kai: there is technically he can be brilliant, but at the t- same time he can go missing in games. So it, his perf- it, 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 overall, if I had to give marks out of ten for yeah. his time at Chelsea, it's probably a six. It's a but, six. But, but from that out of ten mark you've given him, yeah. A lot of that, if not all of it, is playing in the wrong position. And also playing a football club that changes manager as at will. Yeah. Ownership, going through sanctions. It was a very tough time. It still is because of what's happened in the past. But ultimately, you still, there are parts of a footballer's makeup you look at and go, "Mm, not quite sure about you. Not, not quite. Because of body language, or just, just, I'm not, I'm not sure he's cut out for the, the when the going gets tough, he went missing. That's the truth. Um, but of course, that you then you're absolutely right to mention that the managerial change. He came under Frank. The first game he ever played, he played a Brighton away, and he played on the right hand side, and he looked lost. And it wasn't his best position. Mm-hmm. And I, re- he reminded me a lot of Ozil. When I say Ozil, I'm talking about Ozil, the one that goes missing, the one that doesn't, you know, that 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 languid, lazy stroller type of player. Yeah. That and I, I said to my my um. Uh, the uh, co- the co- said, I said he reminds me of Ozil, and that's not a compliment. That was not a compliment, and he 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 still does. Okay, what what does he? There are some players, Paul Pogba for argument's sake, right? Mm. They would always go. Oh, you got, he needs players around him to get yes. the best out of him. Yeah. So, what does Kai Havertz need? Do you think well, in the he, Arsenal well, again, side I'm to get gonna, the best I'm, out? I'm of I'm going to defend Kai a little bit here because actually he's not a number nine. He he scored the winning goal in the Champions League. Yeah. He can do a job. But that's you're not going to get the best out of him. I don't know 
what Kai Havertz's best position is. Okay, what's it not? It's not a nine. Okay. It's definitely right. It's not I out think, wide. I think he, it's not out wide. Not for, not for me, although Kevin Atchard will tell you, I think he did play out uh, out wide in the Bundesliga, but I, I think he needs to play off someone or the f- a false nine where he can drift in, maybe play off with, with Jesus in there, Odegaard. How do you, here's the question, how do you get Rice, Odegaard, Jesus and Havertz in the same team? And then you, you've got Martinelli one side, you've got Saka the other. He also who, who got are definitely think, starters. He, yeah, so it's he might change his shape. We don't know yet. This is what but they've got a big season ahead of them as well. Let's not forget that. Yeah, Arsenal have spent nearly half a billion pounds in the last what, four years, three years, something like that. So they, they're big spenders, Arsenal. They've changed. They've moved. But do you know, we've been talking about Declan Rice for a long, long time. Ever yeah. since when he was at West Ham, he was linked to move to Arsenal. Yeah. Then the move went through of late. I don't think I've I've talked about the fact there's lots of pressure on the fact it's Declan Rice, mm-hmm. right? There's lots of pressure on the fact that He's gone for over £100 million. Yep. And there's pressure on the fact he's gone to a much bigger club, whereas all his life, all his career, he's been fighting relegation. Now he's at a club where big things are expected. Yeah. If you look at the Arsenal side now, the starting eleven, you're saying, like, where will Kai Havertz fit in, right? Yeah. The, the Arsenal side is pretty much, apart from the three they've got, Havertz, Rice and Timber. And I don't know if Timber's going to start on that right or Ben White will, but either way, it's pretty similar to what they had, mm-hmm. right? Declan Rice has been brought in to take them to the next level. Mm-hmm. And the next level is winning the Premier League. That's. A, I mean, I think that's more pressure on a player than the price tag. But they need to be better. They've got Declan Rice in their side. They need to be better. They've brought him in to be better, right? Okay, here's a question. I'll, I'll answer this question with a question. Okay. If they had Declan Rice last season... Great question. Right? Yeah. I think they. I think they would have possibly won the Premier League. Uh, uh, okay, because he could. There's the, a number not, of roles. not the game against Man City that wouldn't have made a difference. I don't think. But the uh, game, the game's tuning up against Liverpool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. So I think that they, they are. There's no doubt they're stronger. Like I'm a, I'm a Declan. We both have done. Yeah, you know, done yeah, yeah. That's a great We're, question. But, but I think that what he gives them, I also feel that there's more to Declan Rice's game than we've seen yet. Mm-hmm. I think there's a better I agree. A box to box and I'm and goal I'm not saying he's going to get twenty goals a season. What I'm saying is I think that he will find himself in the box, chipping in with more goals than we've seen his game at West Ham. Okay. You know you just asked a great question. Did I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. I'm going to ask you a great question, oh, right? Cool. It's a, t- a two-pronged question. Oh, can I ask yes, you the question? Yes or no, right? Oh, God. I can't, I question, don't do no, this. No. Question, got... one, question one, I know the answer, but question two, mate, you go, oh, that's a great question. Go on, go on. Question one, mm-hmm. are Arsenal stronger or weaker with Declan Rice in the starting 11? No, stronger. Okay, we all know that. Yeah, yeah. How about this for a question? Oh, good, yeah. Arsenal starting 11, yeah. are they stronger or weaker with Kai Havertz in it? So you're taking someone out and you're putting Kai Havertz in it. Oh. Are they stronger with Kai Havertz in the eleven? I don't think they are. That's, no, I'm not. I'm not. That's convinced. a great question. I'm not convinced they are. Yeah. But there's a caveat to that. It's because of the things I've just said about playing for Chelsea, playing under different managers, playing under different ownerships, sanctions, all of that. Yeah. But I have to say, based on what I've seen at Chelsea, and that's all I've got to go by so far. I can't see why they pay 65 minutes. I've got no, no idea where they've done it. Okay. But Arteta might look at that and say, Do "You know what? Look what." You... Okay, I'll ask another question. Oh, is it better than my last question? Mm-hmm. Well, you, okay, maybe, right? Okay. okay right? You can't even answer that question. No, I can't, can I? <laughs> it's a great right, question, okay, right? Okay, so here's the question to you, right? Can Arteta get the same out of Havertz that he did Odegaard? Because Odegaard question. was not the top draw player he was when he was on loan. That's a great question. I don't know the answer to that. Okay. I, I, I would what? imagine what? I mean, what? he I mean, thinks that. Well, that's why I think he's signed. Yeah. I think he's gone, right, you've been misused, you've mistreated, I can yeah. see a player. And there is a player in there, yeah. I ain't seen it yet. I've got a great question for you. Do you oh, think we've been it? talking about this for too long? Well, I need to go to a break. <laughs> yes, definitely. I think, yeah, that's right. Talk Sport Drive with Andy Goldstein. Monday to Friday afternoon from 4 on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.